Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement on this day where I am attempting to catch up with things. Attempting being the operative word. I have, I got two hours of sleep last night. I am mid move, some of you may have heard. And, and, and um, also it's graduation season. I had friends who had birthdays. So yesterday was an internet issue when I came home and I didn't have an internet because Xfinity, already moved my service to the other address I'm not in yet and it was four hours four hours but I'm here I'm here because I want to know what happens I know I'm behind but it's the boys season four episode three and butcher has been set off adrift on his own and we had the bat mitzvah of nightmares and, and more crazy pants stuff's gonna happen. And that's why we watch the show. And that's why I like watching it with you because we can share the crazy together, right? Right, okay, so we're gonna go, we're just gonna get into it. I got my blanket, I've got my water. I am hydrating from yesterday. I hope you have your favorite beverage. Tell me what it is. I hope it's something good and tasty. And you're gonna remember full episode watch along so you can share all however many minutes of horror this is together on Patreon. I think I said Patreon. I don't know, but I'm ready to go. So let's get to it. Ooh, Ooh. okay. 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 So whose idea was this? <laughs> I love how he is cracking. You can see the fine cracks. Homelander. This is when he laser everybody's. I don't even know if I can form a sentence today. This should be interesting for all of us. I'll tell you, these kids really are a comfort in troubled times, aren't they? A time when this country is facing the biggest threat in its history. Starlighters. I don't know if I have the bandwidth to... <laughs> They want to get rid of superheroes. And then they want to replace you with some godless, non-binary socialist. A depraved leader, Starlight, commands it. String her up! Love you, pal. I love all of you. The Seven is going to fight. So who's on the Seven now? Don't too much. Pull it and back. Today, Who is Noir now? Put your hands together for Firecracker and Sister Sage. You look great. It really suits you. Who, who designed her outfit? I think. As for that last spot, who knows? Actually, my son, he did stop those bank robbers the other day. You, you saw that video, right? He's going to make Ryan a seven. There's enough here to take down a bull elephant. How are you going to get close enough to use it? Well, I can get Ryan here. I can do some, you just be ready. Grace built the Aslet safe house with the specific intention of our box and soups. Little old Ryan. Like when we deprogram them two ice school lads, eh? And if he doesn't listen to us? Yeah. And we keep an eye on Elephant until he does. Nothing about training him up to top on Amanda. So you said. Would you train your boy up to be a killer? Listen, brother, you don't trust me. Go back to your team. Oh. Wait. Oh, he heard. Are we, we are all still on the fence whether or not, uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan's real or not, right? Smile right now. Did you know that these quote unquote vaccines that they're giving out at the Starlight House actually cause autism? That's huh? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, Sage. Is Sage working all the angles to bring everybody down? Are you going to trust me or not? Is there a problem? But you seem to have something firmly lodged up your asshole. It's you, ass. sir. It is you. Up my ass and in a camel toe. You are clearly punishing me for openly disagreeing with you, which you said you could handle, but clearly you can't. Do you really think I'd be that petty? Yes, I do. It's harder to stage a fucking coup with a million eyes on us. Okay, you're a member of the Seven now. You're a superhero. Act like it. So is, um, that's one thing Sage cannot count on is just how off the rails Homelander could become and that will mess up her plans. I wonder. Hey, 
What are you doing here? We need to talk. It's a dog talk. This looks sketchy. Is he going to shoot up a bunch of starlighters? Where are they? I'm sorry, who? Where are the kids? Oh, no. Okay. Our... Stay back. I'm rescuing those kids. All right, all right. <gasps> oh, sorry. Oh, 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 A friend of firecrackers. An imbecile. You need security. How does a chemist know how to disarm a guy like Jason fucking Bourne? I'd say more like Jean Renaud in Leon. Never heard of it. You need me to kiss it better? My dude, read the room. We're avoiding the conversation. How many are still in Vaught's pocket? 214 in the House, 43 in the Senate. That sounds like a lot. Sorry I'm late. Bob's office must have forgotten to loop me in on this. Glad you could make it, Vicky. I read the new draft. There seems to be an amendment. It's time we ban suits from the military, from private policing, and all other government positions. Don't you agree? All other government positions. Positions. Our entertainers, period. End of story. Shouldn't we take them off the streets and put them back on the mask singer where they belong? Absolutely. <laughs> this is so tense. <sighs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah, he's using it again. That's right. No matter. Sequel? How do you know? Mm-hmm. 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 Wait, and he's teaching Huey how to fight. That's so cute. <laughs> Something big has happened. Mm -hmm. We need help. Look, I know y'all ain't gonna like this shit. I wanna flip A-Train. What? You're joking. Good luck with that. Guys, I know when a motherfucker's wavering, okay? And A-Train, he's right there. He's ready. One guess what my problem with this might be? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and need I remind you who still runs this operation? I Hello? You guys wanna ask before you just up and fuck off? Was this the game he played with Butcher? Oh, this looks great. That looks great. Oi, Brian. Butcher? What? My dad said I'm not supposed to talk to you. Wait, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just, just give me 20 seconds. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Don't make me play the six months to live card. I mean, if you had a one month to live card, then that'd be something. Oh! Ah! This is so excessive! It's so excessive! <laughs> I know that's the point, but it's so excessive! It is long overdue for Vaught and Homelander's power to be curved and move on to move on. Today. Not now. I just want you to know that I will forever be your most loyal servant. Okay. So anything you need, anything, I mean anything, anything. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Yeah. She doesn't need to blow anyone to get to the top. Sure, 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 sure. She's willing. I need some intentionality here. Is there like a playlist I can use to get me inside his head? Shut hey, the fuck up, Duar, and everyone take your seats. <laughs> I think we need that on a shirt. Shut the fuck up, Noir. But I'm always here. I. Oh, Sage is going to take over your workload. For all intents and purposes, she's the new CEO. Oh. 
Am I getting fired? Of course not. No. <laughs> Uh, I'm a mascot. Exactly. A mascot. Sage here has some things she would like to address with the group. I've got to be. Is Noir sleeping? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Sorry, you guys. I'm not epileptic. Where did they find this dude? Where did they find this dude? <sighs> Kevin, honey, is that you? Who else would it be? Notice anything? My tank? You forgot to clean it and now there's an algae bloom. At least let me spend some time in the aquarium above your bed. It's so dark in here. I just, I can't, babe. Are you embarrassed by me? I'm not embarrassed by you, okay? I've told you that. I'm, it's just, you know. I'm so conflicted by this. I fear for the octopus. The safety. I fear for our safety. I don't need this crap, you know? I went to Vanderbilt. Don't quote me on it, but. Did I give you permission to talk, you fucking prom night dumpster baby? I'm gonna finally do it. I am finally gonna fucking quit. Okay. Now, who wants their balls crushed? Those boots are insane. Those boots were insane. Wonderful is what I feel when we're together. And ghost disappears, dear, and I feel so fine. I've got Connect Four and Lego, plus a special little something just for you. I'm not hungry. All right. Maybe later then. Are you scared? Scared of what? To die, I mean. Maybe just be genuine with him, genuine with him, and he might come around on his own. I can tell when you're lying. Ryan, if you knew, if you could tell when he was lying, then you should have known when Butcher was telling you to go away, why he was telling you to go away. This feels like a sad. Feels like a setup, and this is just too weird of a thing. And while it gets going, oh, that's right, I forgot. I forgot he was still kind of hard. Of course not. Melange of hallucinogens. <laughs> you all better be sure that is what that is before you go fucking stuff up. <gasps> oh. No. <laughs> Louis. Frenchy. Frenchy. Colin. Frenchy. What are you doing here? Just some family time. Did we ever hear why Frenchy killed Colin's family? No, you're not. If you were really sorry, you wouldn't have kept doing it. <laughs> Are you still in the wrong spot, hallucinating? Nina. <laughs> Is that who he killed for Nina? Mm. You're free of me. Sure. <laughs> Fucking that boy orphan, it's pathetic. Maybe Frenchie needs some therapy. <laughs> oh, oh. Here we go. Is that a sister? Where'd you learn how to play? 
down the local pub, Lenny and I would spend hours there while the old man was getting pissed with his mates. Who's Lenny? My little brother. I thought he told him about Lenny. Sorry. Hey! <laughs> That's okay. Everyone at the tower always lets me win. Hmm. Saw your save on the telly. You were a star. Nailed your lines and all. Nailed your lines. I accidentally hurt someone. They gonna be all right? Butcher, did you ask that really thinking that he only slightly hurt them? I get why you don't want me. I wouldn't want me either. Them horrible things I said. I didn't mean them. I have this habit, see, of pushing people along the way. Cause, uh, cause I'm a bad man. I ain't got no business putting after a kid. Before, you asked if I was scared. Somebody terrified me. I'm leaving this world with nothing to show for it. I lost me brother, your mum, and I could be leaving without making things right with the one part of her that is still alive. That scares me more than anything. He's gonna give him a cookie. Oh, he's gonna throw them out. Fuck them up. Put way too much sugar in them. Tell me about your relationship with Starlight. Oh. Our records show you made a phone call to the Starlight House within the past month. No, I was just um, donating some clothes. So why is your heart pounding like a little bass drum? Because you're very intimidating, sir. You're not in trouble here, Annika. <laughs> Starlight's a bad guy here. You just tell us the truth. We swear you'll be fine. Right? Yes, yes, I, I swear. I swear on the life of my son. Yes, Starlight did call me a few days ago. She just wanted some help tracking. <gasps> she confessed, leak plugged. You don't think the next word out of her mouth might have been useful? Guess I am that petty. See, I don't know if Sage can outsmart his crazy. <laughs> Ashley got to go, girl. Run far, 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 far away. I'm sorry, who let you in? Bedroom window. This used to be my place. <gasps> oh. Why me? What have I done to make you hate me so much? You really don't remember me, do you? Of course, I was going by Sparkler back in those days. Yeah, right. You um, saying that God bless America I met there. Miami Dade, down to you and me. Turns out you told everyone that I had an ass fuck gangbang with the judges, which was the only how, one trash like me could ever make it to the How fire. old were they during this I event? I was 13 years old. 13 years old! You remember what you said? Look, I was and stupid, and my mom taught me to be ruthless. Do you remember what you said? I don't talk to fat sluts. I'm so sorry, it was so fucked up and it was so wrong. But I'm not that person anymore. People don't change. And all that dove, pure angel bullshit. Now I see a conniving little mean girl bitch in there. And when I'm done, the rest of the world's gonna see it too. Oh gosh. This is the seven on ice. Has the seven on ice. Here's your peppermint latte. Why, thank you. Happy holidays. Don't you mean Merry Christmas? Oh, we're going there. We're going there. Now you can't say Merry Christmas, just Happy Holidays. <laughs> Man, they hit hard. They hit so hard. Wise men So when they go and choreograph this little scene, <laughs> are they dying going, what are we doing? What are we doing? 
I don't get it. I mean, Vod on Ice, this doesn't make any sense. This is the last place Vicky would pick for a meet. I mean, can you just tell me who your source is already? Hey, Train, I made the call and it paid off. How do you know this isn't a trap? I'm your motherfucking CEO, okay? Which means you don't get a say. You do what I say and you say yes, sir, as you do it. You got that? Or he walks away. He walks away. He's so stealthy. He's so stealthy. Newman's here early. Just stay calm, but you know, move your ass. Okay. Like the super hearing Homelander won't hear him in the vents. It's great. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. The show looks great. Why is she here? Sage here is a valued new member of the Seven. Starlight's just the first pebble down the mountain. Soon, it's an avalanche. What does that mean? We're just clearing the way for you, boo. We'll handle Singer after the election certified. After all, you can't just pop his top. And in return? You disband the Bureau of Superhuman Affairs. A, a hero in every town with legal authority over the police. Singer and the military are joined at the dick tip. What happens when they send in soldiers, which they will. Vicky, let me look at you. You hate yourself. You're ashamed of yourself and you should be proud. We have to do better for them. So what kind of example are you setting by staying in the closet? All these Christmas people are dying. The Christmas people are dying. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. Ah. What is happening? Why are people? Ah. Why'd you do that? Y'all. Looks like you two hadn't even shittier day than me. Just wait till you hear the rest. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I took a few pills like I've done every day of my life. I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me, mon cœur. Really. Mm, 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 mm. Would you want to tell me who was that girl back there in the warehouse with the scars? Huh? We cannot solve each other's problems. But you can share them? You can share them, maybe? Oh, they're falling apart. They're falling apart. I have had a day, and I think what I really just want to know right now is um, you know, how... Could you leave me? But I was depressed, postpartum. You know, people think depression, they think, oh, so you're sleepy, so what? But it's not like that. You were always so fun. We'd have dance parties. I never wanted you to see it. And so one night I just took 40 Ambien and thank God I threw them up in the toilet. So the next day I took you to school and I left. I didn't want to. But it's life or death for me. And then she just stayed away forever ish. I thought, you know, maybe I wasn't cut out to be a parent. But I'm really sorry, Huey, that I hurt you. We don't got to kidnap him. We can just fucking eat him in the way. And who has time for that? I fucking told you, we ain't turning him into an asset. He ain't ready. By the time he's ready, it'll be too late. Everything will be burnt down. You ask me. If I could train up my boy, you're damn right I could. Either we figure out how to train him, or we figure out how to kill him. Well, I think Butcher's figuring out how to train him sort of right now. It's making him question what his dad's telling him. Why are you chicken out all in the gut? <laughs> hey, smart ass. Where oh. do you get off? Oh, he just walks right in. He just walks right in. I had nothing to do with that leak. I, I wasn't even... 
What is that? Is that a blooming onion from Outback? Yeah. You want some? <sighs> yeah. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> Are you doing okay? It's a tough day. You want to watch Transformers 2? The one with the, the racist robots? It's funny you mention that. Shy is actually a good buddy of mine. He wants me to be in Honey Boy 2. <laughs> Script just isn't there yet, though. <laughs> You know, at first I kind of thought you were a bitch, but you're actually pretty fucking cool. Because you shared some onion with him? Uh -huh. Totally fucking hot. Yeah? Uh -huh. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't tease me like that. Like that? What about ambrosia? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, what is... What was that used upon? And what was it? Where have you been? Sorry, I flew to Coney Island to get those hot dogs. You've been at William Butcher's. I can smell them on you. He's going through a tough time. Why do you care when you have everything here? You have a home? Doesn't have his I mom. I gave you everything that I ever wanted and his still mom. not good enough for you. Why? Why am I not good enough for you? Oh, we're going there. We're going there. It's just butchery. What? You love him so much. Why did you get him to be your dad? No, I, I don't want him to be my dad. You're <gasps> no! Someone's dying. Someone's dying. Someone's dying. John. Oh, they're back. John. Oh, John. That's his name. John. Thank you. If you starlighters hate you, Ryan spent some time with Butcher and ah, boo hoo, you're a fucking mess. You for Ryan still need love. You're pushing so me. much love and needy like you. You can still fix things. He's your son. He hates you. He's gonna turn on you. Blood. Everyone hates you. It's time to overcome this need for love, this sickness, once and for all. You, you need, need to, to go, go back, back to the start. start. John? You need to go home. We've escalated. We have escalated. How, 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 how? I'm asking rhetorically. How do you live in a society? I'm thinking as I'm saying, where at any moment you're gonna be whoosh. And the reason I pause is because I realize I kinda sorta am right now. Where at any moment you don't know who's gonna come and whoosh, take it all away. They might not have a superpower in laser beam eyes, but they have the ability to just wipe you out on a whim if they've had a bad day. But this is, that scenario a bajillion times fold. And so how, if you were a person, you couldn't live comfortable. I'd want to live on a deserted island by myself with, with my rum and my coconuts and, and just be chill because that level of stress of your environment is exhausting. It's exhausting on the stress we have now, but that is diabolical. I do. I should say I am. I'm enjoying seeing everybody's cracks, but those cracks then mean instability. And that means uh, chaos, which is what the show does well, is it creates chaos in a way that is logical. Even though the show is completely illogical, the progression as you see it makes sense. So even the crazy pants coming from left field, you've seen that progression. You see the cracks, you see now, Annie has like, she never really thought of herself as perfect that we have seen her in a way since like episode one, season one. But she's, she is trying to be the savior, I guess you can say in a way, and she's doubting her ability. Great. We see Butcher. Butcher was very kind of single-minded focused. He still is, but his, his clock's running out so his tactics are changing. He's becoming well, vulnerable when he needs to, didn't make which is fascinating to see. And then we've got, of course, Homelander seeing his cracks. 
He will always be him himself first, but we see those cracks. And then we've got Sage, who I think she's going to be outwitted by the witless. That's what I'm thinking. So seeing all that A-Train, man, that A-Train progression. I'm interested in seeing where that ends. I don't think he will turn turn. I'd be delightfully surprised if he turned turn, but his is interesting as well. So everybody is interesting with their back and forth. That was the first three episodes they dropped. That's a lot. That's a lot. But okay, here we go. Episode three is down. I got a couple more to go before I catch up. Hopefully sometime soon. But thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. Please, as always, take care of yourself. It's the time of year. Wear your sunscreen. Stay hydrated. Stretch your body. This is your mind. And then come back. Come on.